wonder why people don't trust the police. Tonight, a question of police culture. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is investigating a gang unit sergeant's social media post appearing to denigrate black people and the LGBTQ community. But does the problem run deeper? Tonight, we hear from a black officer who says he quit the squad over racial bias. First Coast News also obtained an internal gang unit group chat in which a discussion about a police shooting ended with accusations of racist stereotyping. On your side, Ann Schindler has our exclusive investigation. It's highly inappropriate. This needed immediate attention. He's in the gang unit. That compounds it a lot because of the position that he holds. He supervises people. We cannot continue to stereotype the black community. I can guarantee you that that's the culture that he's breeding. And as long as he's there, you know, that's going to be the culture. And the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office must change. Outrage over Sergeant Howell's tweets doesn't surprise one officer. As a former gang unit member, he felt compelled to speak. He left for that reason. But as a JSO employee, he felt unable to do so publicly. Kim Varner, also former JSO, says the officer wanted to find a way to express his anger. In a lengthy written statement, the officer says Howell's posts are not only harmful to the community, but may, quote, endanger lives. He calls Howell's behavior erratic and says, quote, he seems to be harder on people of color in our unit than of their white counterparts. The other detectives that work for him or officers that work for him that could adopt his, his negative persona. First Coast News crime and safety analyst Mark Bachman says a sergeant's attitude can be infectious, which is exactly what a second black gang unit officer says happened. The title of the gang unit's chat group is something we can't say on TV. The content? also dicey. The first post is Sergeant Howells, linking to a story about the NFL honoring Jamie Johnson, a FAMU student killed while fleeing from police. Jose Garriga, the officer who shot and killed Johnson, replies, why are they recognizing that clown? Howell responds, ignorance in its purest form. Garriga responds, goes to show no matter how wrong they are, they will still be recognized just because they're black. I feel like that was completely out of line and I find it offensive, a black officer on the thread writes. That's like saying all police officers are racist. He then asks to be left out of similar discussions in the future. He spoke his mind, but he left the unit. He didn't want to be a part of that. It's an all too common reality, he says, one that creates its own problems. They're predominantly white. You know, riding in a black neighborhood, it's not about color, but that's one unit that I think it would help if you had more officers of color in the unit. Varner believes Howell needs to go. The others, he says, need to speak up. You got some good officers in that unit. I know a couple of guys in that unit that, are, that, are, that I know to be good people, but they're not speaking out against it, and that's a problem. Ann Schindler, First Coast News. It needs to be changed. On your side.